Hey guys, welcome to another how-to guide and today we'll be covering how to use a cover like a pro. So what defines a great cover? And I think covers do have various purposes and most basic one, you should be able to survive in a cover. And to do this, you really have to avoid uh, getting attacked by your enemies. But sometimes you do, you really use it to attack the enemy. So there's a basic two purpose to using covers. And how is it situational? So keep in mind that certain covers can be good in certain situations, but um, always keep in mind that it's situational. So you always have to look at positioning of your enemies to really find a great cover. Also, it's situational by game modes as well. And by purpose of your move, so your usage itself uh, really make it situational. Um, also by roles of different robots really uh, changes the aspect of um, being able to use a cover or not. So it may be situational uh, by different clan tactics as well. Um, certain clans uh, have different tactics. In that aspect, uh, certain covers do become very situational. And here goes my top 10 usage. On number one, during cooldown, um, use a cover. So this is very basic, but um, you have to keep in mind that by the time enemy reach you, um, your ability has to be ready. So in this clip, luckily, um, enemies did not contest for this beacon. However, I used this cover here to recharge my ability to jump and suppress again. So having my cooldown back, I'm able to defend this beacon way much easier. And using a cover that has a little bit of distance um, from the enemies, by the time enemy reach this beacon, I'm able to reuse my ability. On number two, move cover to cover. So it helps you get closer to where you need to be. I think this tip applies more towards a bot that doesn't have an ability or bot that is just too fragile. So in this footage, uh, by moving cover to cover, I'm able to avoid different angles uh, enemies shooting at me from different angles. So by doing that, I am really creating one versus one situation. This way I can have better chance of surviving. So on number three, find unique covers and in some unique covers you can fire and uh, avoid being shot at the same time, especially against energy weapons. Now air, uh, you see a lot of areas here and there and their built in weapon is an energy weapon. So I'm able to use this pillar uh, to avoid enemies built in weapon and I'm able to use two of my medium weapons. Number four is classic corner shooting. So that's how you want to use the cover. Um, I think it kind of overlaps with the previous one, but this one is just way too classic. Uh, the purpose of this instance is to lock down enemies so I can have a chance to uh, engage with them or just distract enemies from defending that beacon. But normally in corner shooting, you usually use one weapon. On number five, use cover to hide secrets. Um, I don't know what kind of secrets you guys have, but um, in, this, in my case, uh, my secret was re really not to show what I was running because as you can see here, there's that infamous Ares train going on here. So I'm basically trying to counter it uh, with Hellburner, but if they were to see me, they would really back away and I would have no chance of getting really close to them. So I was, be able, I was able to use cover to cover to really not show uh, what I was running. On number six, use tanky bots as your cover or even use allies shield as your cover. I mean, that can basically be your shield uh, cover. So some bots are just built like brick. They're, they were just born that way. So I'm able to use these two cover covers uh, I mean they're my teammates but um, to really kind of save myself and be able to do damage from behind so thank you Venus um, that's the guy in invader hotspot covers so basically go to hotspot covers there are places that 
I guess you really have to explore and a lot of jumpers are able to do that. And in this case, I'm able to go above this roof uh, with my invader um, and just kind of play that mid-range game from here. And I, I'm able to defend that beacon from here as well by jumping down. And obviously the Spectre can get up here and Aljun can get up here. And just like this place here, uh, there are quite a bit of different places that you can get up or um, certain abilities let allow you to go to different, different places. So with certain robots ability, you're able to use certain infrastructure as your cover. In this case, I'm able to use uh, many different um, these yellow things and red things as my cover. So my clan mate CL Arc have taught me this. So thank you CL. So in this footage, using that 600 meter range of Spark and Scourge and that jump of Invader, um, I'm able to use this part of the infrastructure as my cover. And definitely try different things in custom match to match your own setup. On number eight, use cover to retreat. Conserve your robot this way. Uh, sometimes you can't sacrifice your robot. So I was actually pushing with uh, this bot here towards this farm beacon because I saw a falcon from my team uh, move towards it and I saw another Ares um, go towards it as well. But I did get a quite a couple scratches here and there. And um, as soon as we got here, um, a lot of tanky bots on enemy side did spawn in so so my team was definitely not going to get this beacon one thing i didn't want to do is lose this spot and not be able to push for a beacon and here's my retreat journey begin um and i'm, I'm using this pillar because this falcon is using glory which is an energy shotgun so it doesn't have any splash um it, that player wasn't able to get me I jump back to this cover, um, low elevation land. I realized my teammates had a uh, retribution shield out, so I hide in this cover. Having my ability back again, I'm able to jump back to a regular cover. On number nine, ditch cover if you're attacked by rockets. So this is basically how not to use a cover. Um, if you're attacked by rockets, for example, Columbus, Avalanche, um, Orkins, Pins, uh, Pinata. Basically, you want to ditch that cover because of splash damage. And um, you can kind of see with uh, this build here, Avalanche, um, Avalanche Fury. And this build has um, 500 meter range. It's kind of like Trident. Uh, it's got it's got that splash damage. So although this player, enemy player, is hiding in cover, I'm able to damage his or her robot. Last but not least on number 10, um, use elevation as your cover. And I have Adrian's logo on here because he's the one who taught me this. So by using elevation, um, you're really out angling enemies. And most of the time, if you use the angles right, the enemies aren't able to attack you, but you're able to hit enemies. So thank you guys for watching this video, and if you have any suggestions on the next topic, Leave it down in the comment section below. And if you really like this video, um, I also have my own channel as well. So uh, come over and check out my own channel as well. I'll catch you guys on the next video. See you guys.